Welcome back to the channel guys, it's your boy Wolf Naga here back to bring you another discussion with the guys and today we are discussing how big of a power up is Enma. So in my personal opinion, the power up with Enma right now with Zoro, like just from what we've seen, is just as big as when Luffy seen the future, probably the second or third time since we've seen him use Enma a little bit. Since he doesn't have complete mastery of the Rio with Emma, I feel like it's just as big as the power up with Future Sight for Luffy. So, what you guys think? I think Emma is a power up. I do think Emma is a power up, but I think it's like it, it's it's a give and take kind of thing. Cause remember, like it, Emma still works the same way Odin, like it still works the same way even when Odin wielded it. Odin just learned how to use it properly. So it takes a really good swordsman to use Emma anyway, or I feel like either they'll die or they'll be fatigued at all times if they'll never have any hockey. See what I'm saying? Um, but I do think if you had the rate, like the how big of it is, I feel like I, I, I feel a little differently than you do. I feel like it's equal to Luffy with Rio, even though he can't control it, his attack potency could definitely damage the Yonko like Luffy's been damaging the Yonko. So I kind of feel like Emma brings him up there with what Luffy's using now, like Red Rock and shit. Tony? Yo. All right, so uh, I do think it's a power-up, but right now it's a disadvantage. Uh, Low-key, Zoro is still training with it. So it, it's putting him at a disadvantage because we have kind of put hockey kind of like chakra you don't got a limited source of the shit you got to keep you know what i mean you only got so much you got your sword that you're still training with constantly draining you while you, while you're doing that you're fighting a yonko and you can see during this chapter as he was fighting uh kaido he's like yo i i i, I can you know what i mean i didn't release too much of his power all right next time i try next time he tried to release Probably a little bit more power released too much. Mm -hmm. He's still, he's at a constant battle with the sword while he's fighting a Yonko. So he's still yeah. training himself, still trying to master it. So he's at a disadvantage. Once he's uh, able to master it, is it going to happen during this fight? More, more than likely, but uh, I ain't going to say full mastery of it, but it'd be a step up. So sooner or later, it's going to be a power up. Right now, no. It's just a, it's Zoro being a competent swordsman. What about you, d -Man? I don't think it's the biggest power up as Luffy in the Rio because the Rio Luffy can learn that and master that without taking damage from it. And it ain't gonna be the same with using that sword because that sword gonna keep taking his real as long as he fight with it. Like that shit taken from him and using it. That shit don't come back, it's just taken. Yeah, that is true. He is a lot more exhausted than what he was before. And so, by me comparing it to where Luffy learned Future Sight, it's just me basically saying that the power up for future sight was a a big jump in in fighting hmm how do I put this and fighting prowess for Luffy just like for Emma it's gonna be for Zero as in like when yeah. he was learning Luke, when he was learning future sight he had so many risks with learning future sight he was getting his ass whooped that's why his hockey began to bloom but with Zoro's case he's getting his very life force sucked up out of him in which that's causing his to cause clo come closer to death, which puts him in the tour situation where his hockey could bloom. That's why I said it's it's more comparable to when Luffy learned Future Sight because Future Sight, unfortunately, I hope this is not how Oda does it because I wanted him to do like the advanced versions of the observation armament and um and Conqueror is different for everybody because everybody has their own shape of soul and it comes from the soul, whatever the case may be, or it comes from the spirit. And everyone has their own spirit as uh, Fujitori said. And so, 
with that being said, it seems that pretty much Future Sight is going to be the next level for observation hockey, while Rio is the next level for armament hockey. Can we agree with that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. So, if, uh, I will say this, though. Uh, the only reason my thinking was, I'm going to explain my thinking. The reason why I put Emma on the same level as Luffy with Rio, I only did that because of the Kaku Kobe. If you're making a Yonko, Ducky, or Taco, then I say it's comparable to Red Rock. And that's, that's why I'm saying that. But, but even then, like, even when Luffy did Red Rock, Luffy has Rio and Future Sight, so Luffy's attack power scales higher than Zero's. Oh, I get what you're doing. Like, he's stacking hockey. You, you basically saying since he has the next level. Like, exactly. Like, said. Future side would be the next level of observation. And exactly. Then this Rio will be the next level of army. You say on Azoro lacks one, so he scales higher. Yeah. And while Luffy yeah. has both sets of advanced hockeys, Zoro only has one, so you would have to compare Zoro, his first set of um advanced hockey, with Luffy when he learned his first set. That's why I said it would be more comparable to that situation. Since this these two situations, although Zoro has more backup than Luffy at the time. Luffy did have some dance sex machina shit helping him during that fight with Katakuri, which was right. gumbo gumbo no branch, okay? As D-Man like to call it, you feel me? So, with that being said, you would have to compare the two in regards. I would say those two things are relative in regards to the power up. That's why I said that Emma is uh, is relative because he is it is teaching Zoro advanced Ryo right now if he doesn't have it already him. If he doesn't have it already. Um, but just like how getting beat on by Kata Curry taught Luffy. It's a game and take situation. I get you on that. It's just that I hate that Zoro. I hate Zoro right now because his power scaling is weird. Because we still haven't seen Ashura. We still haven't seen some of the attacks he used from the, the pre-time skip. Like, we don't know how he gonna be when he really turn up like so i get that the sword is a power up but what if he powered himself up too with shit we still haven't seen yet like i don't i'm not gonna know how to scale him until he goes all out see but it's not even about scaling zoro um in regards to how strong he is it's just how big of a power up is emma and i just think it's just comparable to luffy learning advanced observation hockey it's just like that's true too that's true too. I give you that because it is his first advance one. If you just gonna break it down in the categories, it's yeah. his first advance one because Luffy's the only one who's shown two advance ones, right? Exactly, and so it doesn't matter how strong, or how potent your attack is. If I can see the future, that's literally how Katakuri works. <laughs> that is literally right. Katakuri. But yeah, what you was about to say, Tony? Embarrassed him that way. Can uh, do you think Zoro could slice through? Birdcage with him. Ooh. I don't, I, I don't know, bro. I feel like I don't know, yeah. bro. Because yeah. I'm a firm believer that if Mihawk was on interest roasted, he could cut Birdcage. I'm sorry, I'm saying. It. I think so too. That's my maxing now. Like where Emma? I believe Emma could thing. cut Birdcage. I'm just gonna go there. Like remind you, it's not just the sword; it's the swordsman too. But. With Emma and what we just seen, the little feat he just had in this chapter, could he now do it? I'm talking about yeah, um, that's the goal. I'm talking about, I'm talking about that goal. I'm not going fanboy and say Indress Rosa he could have did it. He had a pretty impressive feat, Indress Rosa, but I'm not saying he still could have did it. I'm not sure. But with Emma, he can do it. I'm, I'm 100% sure. Yeah, I, I say yeah too, just due to the fact that one, if Doflamingo could bypass and beat Kaido. Because remember he said he was going to kill everybody on that island with Bird Cave just due to his shrinking by itself. So if he can do that with Kaido, then that means Doflamingo would have been above Kaido because he would have just hit the Bird Cage or Wano without even being in Wano. And then it's GG for Kaido. But since Kaido said, just based off this, based off everything we've seen in the manga, nigga, Kaido shits on Dofi. Even with his durability, Kaido shits on Dofi. So, I do feel like with, with Enema, bringing out Zoro's hockey, because all it's doing is just absorbing a, a, a ton of Zoro hockey without him wanting it to. Constantly. 
could cut the birdcage. Because even Fujitori, he was like, yeah, I could probably do something about this. But I'm not going to because I'm betting on the future. I'm like, get the fuck up out of here. You you 6'9". That's a 6'9". You 5'9". 10'4". Ass nigga, fuck up. You dice rolling ass nigga, bro. That shit don't mean anything, bro. This nigga didn't even use hockey. But nigga say he got hockey, though. He would told them back to birdcage. So I think with the ammo, he could, he could do some shit like that, though. 